With Jim McElwain becoming the new head coach for the Florida Gators, it's no surprise changes are bound to happen. And two weeks ago, McElwain called an audible running back Case Harrison just didn't see coming. It's probably one of the happiest moments I've ever been in my life. The redshirt sophomore was one of six walk-ons this year to receive an athletic scholarship. I kind of broke up when he called us and told us on the way home that he had got it. In fact, she told me to pull over and let her drive because I was crying too hard. Case joined the team as a walk-on in 2013 and has since then put in the work to make this a special moment for him and his family. I come from a football family. My father played for the Gators and we've always grown up as huge football fans. It's just a great legacy to now continue with Case. A lifelong Gainesville resident and a graduate of Gainesville High, Case grew up a die-hard Gator fan. But Case was doing a lot more than just cheering in the swamp. I was doing the little drink rack, the $4 Coke. I was that guy yelling at people to $4 a Coke. Case actually started his Florida career right here at Ben Hill Griffin Stadium as a senior in high school selling drinks like Gatorade as a vendor. But now come game days, Harrison is gearing up and playing football right here in the swamp. In fact, in this year's Orange and Blue debut, Case scored his first touchdown as a Florida Gator. In the spring game, it was surreal then, and we were over the moon. So it's hard to tell, you know, when it's in a real game, what's going to be happening if we were that excited just at the, the orange and blue game. So when the Gators take the field on Saturday, remember, it's not just about the wins or losses. It's about an opportunity. It's still crazy to me that, like, I'm playing football and getting rewarded a tuition and food and rent money to just play a sport that I love. Jonathan Perez, WUFT Sports.